Welcome back. It's 923. Well, San Antonio is growing and changing before our very eyes. It seems you can't turn a corner without seeing construction. One of the areas filled with cranes is the Broadway Corridor. Max Massey gives us an inside tour of the Soto, a first of its kind building here that hopes to set the area up for future success. <laughs> A lot of noise today. The building is a six-story building. It's 150,000 square feet. This is the first mass timber mid-rise building in Texas. If you drive down Broadway, you've probably passed it hundreds of times. This is the Soto, and it's unique to say the least. This wood is engineered wood, so we're taking young trees, small trees, and then they're piecing those small pieces together to make big, massive blocks. The Soto is what this entire district is going to be about. John Beauchamp is the chief investment officer at Hickson Properties, but grew up in San Antonio and says this building is part of the future of the city. We love the aesthetics, and we know there's a lot of competition being built in San Antonio right now, and so we like to differentiate ourselves with the look. But on top of that, the sustainability story is real. The timber structure actually has a carbon negative footprint. Carbon negative means the building is removing more carbon from the air than it emits. Basically, it's not only good for the environment, but it's also compensating for other not so environmentally friendly buildings. And I think it says we're a current city. We're modern and forward thinking. It says that San Antonio is on the map of sustainability. As we took our tour of the building, one of the things that was pointed out was the air conditioning and the heating systems. They are in the floor, which I thought was fascinating. It's very efficient. And so air is now allowed to work with the way physics wants that air to work. Cold air comes out, as it heats, it rises. And when it comes to the Soto, being an old timber building not only sets a precedent for sustainability here in San Antonio, but it also could have huge implications on the future of the Broadway corridor. We know that the type of tenants that are interested in this building are interested in recruiting and retaining talent. And for today's workforce, that young talent wants to know that they're in a sustainable building. Hickson Properties is now working with the Cavender family to refurbish the entire area eight and a half acres of land. And John tells me the Soto sets the tone for the district and it allows that second phase of development. Imagine this Broadway corridor with office buildings on either side of the street, with residential towers, with retail. If you're gonna have a great city, you need great people talent and you need great places.